So, uh, when a child has had device closure of atrial septal defect, typically the day when it is done, the patient comes out of the cardiac catheterization lab and is recovering from the general anesthesia in the step down ICU of our Children's Heart Institute. Then the child gradually wakes up and we usually have the mother next to the child at that time and when the child wakes up and is fully awake, we allow sips of water and as he gets more awake, we allow juice and finally we may allow him to have his lunch by about 2 or 3 o'clock of the same day when the device closure is done. That particular day, we don't allow ambulation to the child. That means we don't allow him to get out of bed and start walking because we've gone through the artery and vein of his groin. And that particular day, he could be by 4 o'clock sitting up, talking, doing anything and everything that he can in his bed that he would like to do and be with his parents. And that's very reassuring for both the parents that the child has recovered almost completely. We usually do an echocardiogram in the afternoon or evening which is more to reassure ourselves. There's an IV medication which goes overnight. And once that's done, next morning, the child is fully awake after his overnight sleep. And uh, he's had his breakfast. We remove the dressing from the groin and we put a band-aid there. Obviously, there are no stitches, so we don't need to remove stitches because this is a suture rest procedure. And then the patient is ready to ambulate and go to the ward. Then next day he's recovering in the ward, he's walking around, which is even more reassuring for parents. And by afternoon or evening, we're ready to discharge the child if the parents are also completely comfortable, otherwise the next morning. Once the child is discharged, at home he needs a day to adjust to himself. There is no restriction in his activity at home. He could run around, play, jump, eat, do whatever he wants. We don't immediately recommend him going into cycling or going out to play football the very next day after the procedure because at the end of the day we have accessed the artery in his groin. But once 48 72 hours are over after the procedure, so for example if a procedure is done on a Friday, the Saturday afternoon evening the child goes home, Sunday he does so Monday I advise the child to go to school. When he goes to school, he might have slight hesitation in his walking when he's wearing weight bearing on his legs. And for that, we give a paracetamol tablet, which is able to overcome the slight hesitation, pain or discomfort he has in his groin area. And with that, the recovery period is over. We usually give a tablet of EcoSprint for about four to six weeks after the procedure is done. And by that time, the child is completely back to normal. Typically, a child after the procedure would end up gaining almost a kilo of weight in one month or a couple of months which would actually have taken the child something like six months to gain weight. So this is how the recovery is, this is how the patient does well subsequently and improves.